Hello everyone. I am Larry Ayala of the Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. This afternoon, uh, the heavens are falling. But the heavens are falling. Why? Because another one happened in Africa, precisely in Cameroon, this week. Two trans women were jailed, not for anything, but for just being who they are in Douala. Um, this afternoon, I'll be discussing with some of my Cameroonian friends to uh, hear their views and for them to shed light on the plight of the LGBT community in Cameroon. Uh, the government of Cameroon has tightened the news around the necks of the LGBT community, uh, making same-sex relationship uh, an illegal act. We have to remember that uh, Cameroon are parties to several human rights uh, uh, conventions. There is this Convention Against Torture, which was ratified by Cameroon in 1986. But come along with me while I speak with my Cameroonian friends. Earlier in the week, on the 11th of May, two transgender, transgender Cameroonians who have been in jail since February yeah. were convicted for five years each in Douala. Uh, this has sent wrong signal to the LGBT community uh, as at large in Cameroon. We have to remember that uh, the Cameroonian government were part of a, they signed a convention against torture in 1986, which was ratified by the government. Yes. Um, we are here to talk about it. What is the implication for the gay men and women in Cameroon? Martins, please. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Um, actually, it's a very dramatic situation happening now in Cameroon. And uh, being a Cameroonian uh, uh, gay man, I'm telling you, it's not easy. Uh, gay people are facing a lot of persecution in Cameroon. They, they, they are very much marginalized and discriminate. And they are very, very much in pain, facing a lot of trouble. And now we can see today that the government is not even not hiding what is happening. They are now sentencing people for being who they are for being gay, for loving their self, for trusting into what they are. And you can now see Shakiro and Patricia is a concrete example of torture which LGBT people are facing in Cameroon. It is now in front of the whole world. No one can argue the situation. Mm. You can see it. They've been in jail for since February, as you say. Who knows what happened to them? I've been in jail and I'm telling you, it is hell there. It is, there's a lot of, even in jail, you have a lot of discrimination, you have a lot of torture, and that is what they are facing. And as for now, it's very, very obvious that they're going to face a lot, a lot of discrimination. And bear in mind again, they are being sentenced for attempt homosexuality. They, are, they, did, they did not cut them in the act. They did not cut them. They're thinking that they are because of being transgender. And I ask myself, it's been transgender in Cameroon, causing any problem to our society? The answer is no, because it is your private life you are living. It is your private life you are sharing with people that are close to you. You are not being against the society. You are not being, a, you are not a thief. You are not, they should be dealing with politicians that are stealing our money instead of oppressing the, the famous population for being who they are. As for now, I. 100% believe this is a bad signal they're sending to the LGBT people in Cameroon. They won't be able to live their life. They will be going back to the closest. They are telling the old LGBT people in Cameroon that you're not saving Cameroon. You need to take the road to Libya. You need to go to the to, to, to US. You need to go to Europe to find a better life. And all of us know what is happening to that road. The desert, all of them are dying. They are telling the people, this is not where you want to be. You need to flake. And it is not a good situation. Unfortunately for the Cameroon government, this is very, very, very bad in the front of the whole world, which is now telling people about their human right, the life of freedom to live your life freely, to be who you are freely. But no, in Cameroon, they are forcing you to stay away from love. They are forcing you to stay very far away from who you are. They, are, they want you to pretend 
to love the society in which you don't belong to. I will tell you, it's very horrible, the situation they are facing now. But I trust God and I trust myself because, yes, now the whole world can witness. A proof is, concrete proof is, you are now in the UK talking about it. So definitely, everybody knows about it. I saw that on the news on BBC and I trust, I, I just want to call on the whole world to acknowledge the fact that LGBT people in Cameroon are seriously suffering. Just because of attempt homosexuality, they're giving you 10 years. And who knows what's going to follow after the 10 years. I will just now introduce my friends from Cameroon, Jules and Enes. And I believe you guys, Enes, you have something to tell. What do you feel what, when you heard that sentence about Shakira and Patissa? What was your feeling? Thank How you uh, very much, Martin. Uh, this is uh, Enes Momeso, a bisexual man from Cameroon. Actually, it is uh, really sad. I felt very sad and bad because uh, Shakira and Patricia, they do not rob a bank. Yeah. They do not kill someone. Yeah. Uh, they do not commit murder. But unfortunately for them, they were being jailed for five years imprisonment for attempting uh, homosexuality, which is very bad. It's really bad for the government as a whole yeah. because this act will put fear and scare. Mm -hmm. They will remain in the closet. It's a bad they will signal. be forced. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They will be forced now to move away from the country because they cannot live their life for being themselves. They did not do anything bad. Just being themselves now has been, uh, uh, they have to suffer to be in the prison. It's really terrible, it's really horrible. Well, uh, to add to what Martin have said, uh, we, we stand in solidarity with uh, the LGBT community in Cameroon. We stand, we ask them to be strong, to be courageous. We think in the near future, things will change. Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you, Ernest. We oui, Jules. Avec la situation qui se passe au Cameroun aujourd'hui avec Shakiro et Patricia qui sont persécutés à cause d'être de, 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 des homosexuels, quelle est ta position par rapport à cela Toi étant un, un, un membre de la société, de, de, un gay ici en Angleterre, qu'est-ce que tu penses qu -ce, Quels sont tes, tes sentiments par rapport à ce qui se passe au Cameroun Merci beaucoup pour cette question. Euh, moi c'est Jeanne Dufaux, je suis gay, je vis en Angleterre. Et vraiment, je suis, je suis tellement déçu du Cameroun, ouais. vu la situation de Shakiro et Patricia. Ouais. Parce que euh, je ne sais pas si euh, le Cameroun vraiment. Euh, comment est-ce que le Cameroun peut arrêter euh, deux gays, les donner 5 ans de prison Je trouve que c'est tellement. C'est très grave. C'est très grave. Pas, ça ne se fait pas en fait. Okay. Bon, tout ce que je vais dire, c'est que je, je vais dire courage à, à Shakiro et Patricia. Courage. Ils ont tout mon soutien en fait. Oui, Monsieur Jules. Et avant de, de vous laisser, quel est le message que vous donnez alors à cette communauté, cette vaste communauté de, 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 de gays, de, 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 de lesbiennes que nous avons au Cameroun Oh, qui sont même d'abord soutenus par une brillante avocate, Maître Alice Koum, que nous, avons, que nous reconnaissons ses, ses prouesses à, 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 à lutter pour le fait que les gens soient libres, les gens puissent libre, vivre librement. Quel est ce message Un message d'espoir Un message d'espérance Quel est ce message que vous donnez euh, à ces gens-là Merci beaucoup, Maître Alice Koum pour tout ce qu'elle fait, elle fait pour, pour les gays au Cameroun, les lesbiennes. Bien sûr. Euh, le, le message que je peux, me, que je peux donner, c'est que je les soutiens et je suis avec eux. Et du, euh, beaucoup de courage à, à ces gens-là. Beaucoup, ben beaucoup de courage. En fait, nous allons comprendre aujourd'hui que être gay, ce n'est pas un crime. C'est tout simplement un choix de vie. Un choix de vie qui n'impacte qui n'impacte pas autant pour moi sur la société. Un choix de vie qui ne dérange personne. Being a gay man is not a bad thing. It's a choice of life. It's been who you are. It's been what you want. It's been what you want to be. And definitely, it's not stopping the society to go ahead. Mr. Larry from Nigeria, my friend, my neighboring country. This is what is happening to Cameroon. You can see the whole world is sour. Let's send this message of, message of hope to all the LGBT community. They should trust in themselves. They should believe in themselves. They should stay firm to their conviction. Love is love. love There's is love. no different love than what we know. Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you, Jules, and thank you, Ernest. Ah, Love is not a crime. We have to remember that the world is moving in a progressive direction. But Cameroon, like Nigeria, they are moving backwards. They are becoming yeah. more retrogressive. Why? Because same-sex relationship is being criminal criminalized now in um, Cameroon. Yeah. A celebrity like Shakiro and Patricia if they could be subjected to this kind of um, treatment in Cameroon, 
what happened to ordinary People. members of the LGBT community. Sure. Countries like Mozambique, Gabon, Seychelles, yeah. they are moving away. They've signed laws that are, uh, they've signed laws to support, to, to support, support that the community. LGBT community. Yeah. We don't know why it is now uh, getting backwards in Cameroon and places like Nigeria. Monday is set aside as Ida Hobbit Day, International Day oh. Against Homophobia, uh, Biphobia, Transphobia, Intercept, you know. Now, if what is the message that we're passing to the world? Why the whole world is supporting the LGBT community worldwide. Back home in Africa, we are sending our people into the Mediterranean Sea to commit suicide. That is the way I see it. Because in Cameroon now, when people go back into the closet, there will be rise in cases of mental health. Yeah. Suicide will be on the rise. And people will just want to run out of the country. Anyway, I'm happy that you guys are here to share your thoughts with us. Thank you very much. Mr. Hopefully, um, we'll have you to, on our YouTube channel. Uh, Mr. Larry, recorded. before we go, there's yes. one thing I would like the whole world to know now. Tell us. Actually, it's not just being criminalized in Cameroon, but the LGBT people face a lot of issues assessing the health in Cameroon. You spoke about mental health. It's true. It is something that is real. But the community in Cameroon, they can't go to the hospital because when they ask you what is your sex, what are you going to say? There's no free space for those people to go and assess that health. There's a lot of people with HIV, glonorrhea, or sexual transmitted disease, but they can't cure themselves because of they've been afraid of being arrested in the hospital. The hospital that is supposed to be that safe place where they're supposed to express themselves and have that help from the doctor. They can't access that. So definitely, where are they going to do? Kill themselves or die like that? Definitely, I agree with you. The country is killing them. The country is not giving them no escaping way to live as they're supposed to live. Thank you very much, Martin. It's been nice having you guys on this uh, You're welcome. channel. Please keep watching. Let us have your comment. Don't touch the dial. Share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Atom Proud African LGBTI. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. You're welcome.